This is perfect. So there's your outer shell. So then the inside of this helmet, the foam is broke up into different parts, obviously. So areas can move differently. There you go. Oh, shit. Those are your omnidirectional points. So you have your outer shell, thick foam, which would be a typical helmet. And then you've got your omnidirectional suspension. That's for each of us. There's 27 of them in there for the uh, ATR1. Then you have the next <coughs> layer of foam which is the inside of the helmet. On the back side of this, inside your, your cushioning and whatnot inside your helmet. So then the idea obviously is take a, you got a hard off, right? Hit the ground, you don't hit the ground at a 90 degree angle, like rolls, I said the helmet's round, the ground's all in you, it rolls. And then that twist, this twist, your brain sloshes around inside your Head. Cerebellum fluid. And then, uh, yeah, you have, it's an increased, I don't know, you have serious brain damage is the problem. So, with the omnidirectional suspension, that takes the brunt, all these little things move. If your head hits the ground, this absorbs all, well, most of the twisting motion. And then at that point, this inner foam, your head, your brain doesn't twist as much as a helmet that doesn't have that technology to it.